What is good? Halo Zone BBK Dragoon is here with Team Doubles Gameplay. This is a perfection on Solari. I'm playing with my bro Diddy, who's also a fellow Halo Zone director. Check that dude out. Uh, it's pretty fast gameplay, and I have a few things I want to chat today about. It's the second time recording it. I tried doing it the first time, and I ran out of time, so I'm going to minimize. There's just too much that I want to talk about. I got into this whole thing about, do you guys like beast in gameplays? Do you like tight gameplays? Because I've seen both ends of the coin. Some people complain when you get perfections. I really like in matchmaking, public matchmaking, the gameplays where you are just pub stomping, you're doing really well. It's, I find that to be very entertaining, but some folks don't. Some folks really just want to see tight, tight, hardcore matches against like really strong players. I think that fits better if you're a pro or if you're like scrimming and it's made known to the viewer that, hey, I'm playing against other people in a competitive way rather than just matchmaking. But another topic for another time. And then I started talking about something that could totally be its own commentary. And I think I will talk about it in further. Uh, curious, just as your, like, five-second opinion, do you guys think CSR needs to be in every single playlist? Since I've been playing this game, uh, again, since being back, CSR is in Action Sack, it's in Flood, it's every playlist. Does it really need to be in every playlist? Does that ruin the chance for a casual player to really come in and enjoy the game at the same level? I was comparing it back to, like, I really enjoyed Halo 3's system of ranked versus casual, and I, I liked that a lot, but perhaps we don't have the population size anymore to accommodate such a system, but anyway, topic for another time. I'm here today to share my favorite films um, of the last, whatever, three, four years, my whole life, basically. Some of my favorite films, far too many to name here, but I am a film student at university. This is my final year of university. And I want to share some of my favorite films, maybe explain what film school is like, or at least the film school I'm at, what it's like, and then hear from you what your favorite films are. So, do not waste any more time, let's go! Starting back in the silent era, my favorite silent film is called Sherlock Jr. It's on Netflix, it's a Buster Keaton film, if you don't know who Buster Keaton is, um, think of Charlie Chaplin, if you don't know who Chaplin is, well then... Maybe Google or Wikipedia that. It's very uh, comedic vaudeville style stage comedy basically done on film. So a lot of gags, a lot of stunts. It's not a very long film. It's on Netflix. I would highly suggest watching it. It's a really fun view. And as far as like silent films go, it's got a charming plot. It's got some really cool visual work and stunts at the time that were far and ahead beyond what people were doing. Buster Keaton, the director, the writer, and the main actor, broke his back literally in one of the stunts midway through the film and didn't even realize it till like five to ten years later. So interesting film, certainly worth a watch. Moving forward in history about ten years or nah, I think it's like eight years or something. Singing in the Rain, if you guys haven't seen that musical, it's worth a watch. Musicals don't have to be your cup of tea, they're not mine, but classical Hollywood cinema, which is like between the 20s and, and the, until World War II basically, it is a style of filmmaking that just is, like, critical. Critical if you're a film student to understand. And it's a really enjoyable musical. It's about finding, you know, pleasure and happiness in life. And even when life gives you lemons, making lemonade, it's just charming, very enjoyable. And uh, even if you're a guy who's like, I don't like the singing, it's all right. It's okay. It's a fun film to watch. Give it a chance if you have the time. Moving forward from there, like way forward, 1959, a French director named Francois Truffaut released a film called The 400 Blows. It's a phenomenal film, absolutely phenomenal, and it, it falls under the category of the French New Wave, which was like this film, a film movement of a bunch of directors in the 1950s, uh, late 1940s, but mainly the 1950s, where they, they focused on the aesthetic of realism, which means... The plot, again, focuses just on the, the minor things in life. It's not something that's full of action. It's a very subtle plot, but it's extremely charming in the way it tells it. Um, in the same vein, another, if you're looking for another great French New Wave film, Cleo from 5 to 7, the director is Varda. It's another great film that uh, just is very charming. It's very enjoyable. Um, another favorite one of mine is Letter from an Unknown Woman. This is from, like, the 60s. This is our 1950s. Kind of a melodramatic chick flick from the 50s and 60s, but it is a good view. If it ever comes up, I don't know when you would watch it, but if you ever get the chance, do. 
Uh, also, if you're looking for a great short, just science fiction film from the 60s that's a mind, it'll like twist your mind in the way Inception does, La Jetée. It's a 1962 science fiction film by Chris Marker. Make sure you check it out. Uh, more uh, traditional films and contemporary. I love the original Star Wars trilogy, episodes 4, 5, and 6, not the new stuff, you guys, but just classic. It's a it's a pillar of my childhood and the movies I love. If you've ever seen Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove, not the James Bond film, that is a hysterical comedy, absolutely worth watching. And then in really contemporary films, the ones that you guys are like, I haven't heard of a single film you've named so far. What have you seen that I've seen? I loved The Dark Knight. I loved Inception. Um, Scorsese did Hugo in 2011. That's a really charming film as well. And Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series. I'm really excited for The Hobbit Part 2 coming out this Christmas. I cannot believe how quick... This gameplay went, I could talk about film for a whole lot longer, and maybe I should. Let me know if you would want to hear a little bit about film school, or if you want to talk about that CSR thing I mentioned down below. Please let me know some of your favorite films, because I am a, an avid devourer of films, and I will see it, and it will stick with my head, and down the road, I will try and watch those films based off of some recommendations. That is just something cool. It's like music. So thanks for listening to me, Blabber. Thanks, Diddy, for playing. I will catch you guys next time, and enjoy your day. Peace.